We are yet to enter into the vast ocean of sado bread baking but are interested in learning how to make the most flavorful yet healthy breads then join Ravneet Bhalla's sado bread baking journey let us make 100% whole wheat mini sado starter bread with 1 fourth cup of whole wheat sado starter which is one year old and we made it together mix it with 1 fourth cup of water half teaspoon of salt 1 teaspoon of honey or maple syrup or date syrup or golden syrup or any sweetener of choice next we'll be adding whole wheat flour in batches i have used one cup of whole wheat flour for this bread recipe because it, it is, is a mini loaf that i have baked in my air fryer so one cup is more than enough for one loaf of bread and then i have added three tablespoon extra of water and mix it with a spatula or spoon you don't need to knead bread next we'll be adding one teaspoon of extra virgin olive oil or you may use fat of choice if you want to make it here then you may add butter or even ghee instead of extra virgin olive oil or even use coconut oil so that's your choice completely i love extra virgin olive oil and i love to use it in my bakes because it is the best oil to cook with now cover it either cover it and keep it aside for at least uh, overnight or 24 hours in the refrigerator so this will be proofed in the refrigerator i kept this for 24 hours in the fridge on the previous day i had baked one after proofing it for uh, around 10 hours but this one was proofed it for 24 hours just wanted to see the result and both ways i got excellent results i'm happy both ways so you may either choose to keep it in the refrigerator for fermentation slow fermentation uh, for 8 to 10 hours or 24 hours maximum then after that immediately start shaping and gently roll it out i have done this on my hands but you may use a rolling pin and a rolling board then fold it from one side tightly and because we want to give it the shape of a bread so make sure it is tight and then seal the edges seal the edges and then we will be shifting our loaf of dough into the greased baking pan or bread pan and this is my mini loaf pan that a mini bread pan or tin which is of glass that I use for baking in my air fryer and I kept it for proofing at room temperature for around two hours it rose beautifully and close to the edges in about two hours but wait until it rises to the rim mine rose within two hours sprinkle some sesame seeds and then we are ready for baking at this stage preheat your air fryer to, uh, to 200 degrees celsius for 5 minutes and if you want to bake your whole wheat sado starter bread in india in oven otg convection or even in gas please preheat them for 10 minutes at 200 degrees celsius next we will be baking our wheat bread no yeast bread at 180 degrees celsius for about 25 to 35 minutes look at our golden bread it is amazing and when it is baking your house will be filled with the aroma of fresh bread. Cover it with a moist towel for at least one hour. Don't need to bake it any longer. Just cover it with a moist towel. And after that you will see it looks even more beautiful. It give, gets a better color that you will want to fall in love with. And it adds moistness and softness to the bread you may 
uh, even uh, brush some milk or butter on top but I didn't do anything I just enjoyed my bread just like that it's so soft so fluffy so yummy and absolutely zero sourness believe me friends if you are afraid of making sourdough breads because they taste sour then I must assure you that this one does not taste sour and this also depends on your sourdough starters if you don't feed your starter regularly your breads are going to be sour so make it a point to feed your starter regularly I feed my starter every third day but these days since it is one year old I feed it after a week as well so if you have any problems or questions with regard to sardo bread baking please let me know in comments I hope you like this recipe if you do please like share and subscribe take care until next time bye bye see you soon